All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you this really simple card trick um, involving these two red queens here, and I'm just gonna leave them on the table for now. And then what I have you do is, let's say you can pick a card from the middle here, you can see they're all face up, you need to pick it up face up, face down, doesn't really matter. Let's say you wanna pick face up, so this way you can see your card, it's completely random. Let's say the jack of spades, this way you know I cannot force it on you in any way. Let's say we take the jack here, place it in between the two red queens over here. So I'll place it in between there so you guys can see it. And then what I'm gonna do is go through, and let's say I give the deck a little bit of a cut like this. This way I can mix up the deck a little bit. And then over here, let's take your card, the jack of spades, put it in between the two red queens. And I'll spin it three times, just like that. As you can see, your card has actually vanished. So there's not a jack in between these queens anymore. And let's say we go through the deck over here and you can see there's one card face down in the middle and this is the jack of spades so this is the trick guys i hope you guys like it and don't forget to stick around for the tutorial all right so uh, don't worry the uh, deck giveaway that i did in the last video i'm still going through um the potential winners i actually got a lot of submissions so i'm just trying to make sure i'm going through and seeing um, the best possible option for that and anyways um to start off what you need to do is you have to make a double backed card so this is really simple um, sometimes these newer decks, like the Theory 11 cards, they come with a double back card, but this one I just made using the Jokers in the deck. So you just take a piece of double stick tape, stick these two cards together, and make a double back card. Um, the next thing you want to do here is go over, let's say you want to use the two queens in your trick. So you can use any kind of two face cards, but in this case I have the queens. And basically, on one of the queens, you need to stick a piece of double stick tape on the card. So as you can see, Right there, you can kind of see the tape and the light, so you don't have to worry about that tape showing this back to you. They're not going to see it. Um, and then what you do here is you take the double back card, place that on top, and then stick the two queens on top of the deck and make sure the card with the tape is on top of the deck. So uh, from here, you can tell the spectators you're going to be using these two queens. And what I do here is I use the top queen to push over the queen under and then flip over the uh, top queen here so this way I have the double stick tape on the top so that way when you stick the card in between these two queens you're already set up so let's say you place the two queens off to the side and then you could have the spectator either pick the cards face down or you could have them pick them face up just make sure you don't spread all the way through to the double back card so uh, let's say you have them pick the cards face up and they pick any card that they want to and uh, the cool thing is you can have them sign it so that kind of makes the trick a little bit better but in this case, let's say you have them sign the card, they're signing it, they're not really looking at you. You're just going to take the top card and catch a pinky break, and then leave their card. You say, okay, look, I'll take your card and place it in between the two red queens. So all I did there was place their card on top of the pinky break, and then flip both of the cards over and saying, look, I'll place your card. And in reality, this is the double back card. And you say, look, I'll place it in between the two queens and you leave their card like this face down and just slightly drop the queen on top okay so this way they're in full view of their card and um, at this point what you're doing here is you're taking the cards and say look I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the deck and all I did there was push off the top card catch a pinky break like this and you're gonna be doing a reversal move so this is kinda of difficult but I'm gonna go slowly you take the card you transfer this whole thing to a thumb break leaving their card like this and you're doing an undercut with your pinky, so you're peeling off a portion of the bottom cards, and then you're moving that to the top, leaving that on the break, just like this. And then from here, you do the exact same thing, taking the cards from the break, moving that to the top. So in reality, what you've done here is you've moved, or you just switched their card, leaving it the only face-down card. And then I did a one-handed cut, and I'll leave a link on the screen. So you can do that. So now their card is in the middle of the deck. And then from here what you can do is you pick up the three card packet over here and you kind of just square it up so you make sure all the edges are just kind of lined up. And then as an excuse to press the cards together this way the cards will stick between the double stick tape, you tell the spectator you're going to twist the cards three times through your fingers and this way you can apply pressure. And that way when you spread the cards, the uh, double back card is now attached to the queen. So you kind of just briefly show it to them that their card has disappeared and you throw the queens on the table like this and you can come over to the deck on the left and if you want you can just spread it out and show them there's one card now in the middle that is the only card that's face down 
you can just take it out and you show to them that it is their card. So like I said before, uh, the ending is going to be a little bit better if you do have the card signed because then it really looks like the card did transport. Uh, but anyways guys, this is a trick. I hope you guys like it and as always, thanks for watching.